Hey guys, uh, Verdier here, looking uh, <laughs> as raggedy as ever. Uh, I apologize for being inconsistent on the videos. I've uh, <clears throat> I've been working a new job third shift, so so I'm basically working from ten o'clock at night until like seven in the morning. And I figured, no problem. I'm a uh, I'm a night owl. It'll be easy. <laughs> it ain't easy. It, it wasn't as easy as I thought. And I'm basically exhausted 90% of the time, so it's been kind of hard for me to get down to get the videos put together. I got a lot of stuff filmed, but no time to put it together, at least no time between trying to sleep. Uh, <clears throat> in this video, I'm, I'm just going to show you a quick thing on uh, a device I added to my radio. That's the Artisan DRC MP. Okay, here you'll see the box that came in. Basically, this is a controller for my amplifier. <clears throat> I actually had to ship from Poland because <laughs> it was cheaper to get it that way than through Adam. And basically, it's a full controller. Basically, you can control the entire amp, including balance, fade, uh, bass adjustment. But you can also go deep in the amp and change a lot of things. But the main reason I got it, uh, as you can see, it's a nice little unit, nice and small. Bunch of buttons, select, escape, and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> but I got it for one real big main reason. Uh, one of the nice things that you can do with this particular item, I'm sorry if I'm looking up and looking at the video, uh, <clears throat> with this item, you can actually um, change your sound stage. So basically, you can have multiple tunes in your amplifier, and you can basically choose your what uh, sound stage design you want. So basically, I got two tunes done, and I could go from A to B as I choose. Uh, and get completely different sounds in the uh, cabin. One that's more front justified, one that's more rear justified, and so forth. <clears throat> in the next video, you'll see basically uh, where we ended up finding, the only place really I could put it was right over here next to the main buttons where the trunk and uh, gas buttons, well, actually where the gas button and so forth is. And we were going to, we were hoping to put it flush, but, once you took it out, uh, once we uh, unhooked this whole thing from the uh, from the car, didn't look like we were going to be able to cut in because there wasn't enough room to put it flush. So as you'll see here in this um, in this uh, picture, and if I can find my picture, you can see here in this picture. Basically, you'll see the opening over there is where the buttons, uh, you know, for various controls of the car is, <clears throat> and we were hoping to stick it in there. But the problem there was no room behind there to get in. So basically, he cut a slot just to run the line through, and you uh, and we just put the we surface mounted the unit instead. Um, one thing is that with the unit uh, with the amplifier I have, uh, this unit seems to be a little bit kind of touchy about connecting to it. It may not say it's working, but it is. I mean, you see here in the video. Uh, I'll go ahead and run the video uh, now. This is basically what it looks like once it's mounted. And it says device not found. Now it does. It just says looking for master most of the time. Uh, and it actually turned out looking pretty good where it is. I don't control any real volumes with it. Mainly I use it as a switcher for switching between the two DSP settings. Uh, here in this final video <clears throat> that I'll be playing right now, you'll see here it's in. Now it's in master. You've got vo volume, bass, sub, uh, fader, and all that. You can do all that, but I don't do any of that. What I basically use it for is, just pu is you push it to the side and it goes into a DSP menu and then you can switch from two different DSP settings. So you can get a completely different feeling soundstage from the car. Basically, it makes it possible to never get really bored with the soundstage in a car. Now, with the uh, <clears throat> different bit systems, uh, ones, uh, you know, ones that it was mostly originally designed for, mine uh, is the 8 8.9 bit that unit um wasn't originally designed for this but they uh did a software patch to make it work so the big issue is you, you can only have two dsp settings but some of the uh other ones some of the higher end or a little differently dsps that uh, audison uh, carries you can have up to four different dsp settings so what's really great is if i listen i mostly listen on b because it puts more front justification gives me more volume um I guess which A, which kind of surrounds it and puts it more towards the rear coming forward towards me. I can get completely different feeling soundstage. 
And so if I get bored with the music, you know, I'm enjoying the music, but you know, it's 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 still cool, but you know, it'll be something nice. I can switch it to A, and it's like listening to a whole new stereo. Uh, and that's basically what I got it for. I ended up paying about $150 for it. Had it shipped from Poland. Uh, general cost out here is about 200 to 250 dollars. So, you know, save me a little bit of money. Um, uh, but it's just something a little extra I'd like to uh, add into it. If anyone wants to look into it, uh, you know, uh, on you know on the internet and so forth, it's basically uh, the Audison DRC-MP. And I'll tell you, it really, it can do a lot more than what I'm using it for. Uh, basically, you literally can control a lot of your functions of your amplifier through it. But it's a little bit too much uh, for me. I just wanted something to switch different uh, DSP settings uh, for coolness. So this quick video is pretty much over. Uh, I'm going to try to get a few more videos out. Uh, I've done a lot of changes and stuff. As I said, I'm kind of wiped out <laughs> from working third shift. So I got to try to get into into the groove of things. And I'll try to get more stuff uh, out and so forth. A little bit more information. And that's all I got to say today. 38 out.